Anthony Romero, a rising star in Hollywood, loved life. He brought smiles to everyone. Anthony was kind, generous, and had so much more to give. But on a Tuesday night, everything changed. Walking home from a movie premiere, Anthony was caught in a senseless act of violence. He was gone, another victim of a random shooting. The city mourned, his loss, a stark reminder of the pervasive violence plaguing our society. Anthony's story is tragically not unique. It's a story replayed too often. Across America, cities grapple with rising crime rates. Innocent lives lost to senseless acts, families shattered, left to pick up the pieces. When will it end? When will we say enough? Anthony's death sent shockwaves through Hollywood and beyond. His warmth, his talent touched countless lives. He was a beacon of hope, a testament to hard work and dedication. This wasn't just a Hollywood tragedy. This was a human tragedy. It forced us to confront an uncomfortable truth. Violence can touch anyone, anywhere. Tessa Farrell, Anthony's fiancée, was devastated. They were to be married, their future bright and full of promise. In a moment, everything changed. Tessa, overcome with grief, found her voice. She spoke out, her words echoing the pain felt by so many. This wasn't just an attack on Anthony, she cried. It was an attack on us all. Her words resonated deeply, a raw expression of collective grief and outrage. She demanded justice, not just for Anthony, but for all victims of senseless violence. Her voice, strong and resolute, ignited a movement. Tessa's plea was a call to action. She challenged Hollywood, a community often accused of silence, to take a stand. She demanded accountability, urging lawmakers to address the root causes of violence. Her message was clear, enough is enough. Her words were a lightning rod, sparking a national conversation. People listened, moved by her raw grief and unwavering determination. Tessa, in her darkest hour, became a beacon of hope. She channeled her pain into purpose, her voice a catalyst for change. Hollywood, often seen as a world of glitz and glamour, grappled with an uncomfortable truth. Violence, a reality for so many, had pierced its facade. Anthony's death forced a reckoning, a time for reflection and action. The industry, known for its storytelling, had a new narrative to confront. Celebrities, often hesitant to speak out, added their voices to the chorus, demanding change. They used their platforms to amplify Tessa's message, calling for an end to the violence. The hashtag hash justice for Anthony flooded social media, a digital testament to the collective grief and outrage. Hollywood studios pledged their support, promising to use their influence to advocate for change. They vowed to tell stories that mattered, stories that reflected the realities of violence and its impact. This wasn't about entertainment anymore, it was about responsibility. The industry, often criticized for its detachment, was stepping up. They understood the power of storytelling, its ability to influence hearts and minds. They pledged to use that power to effect real, lasting change. This was a defining moment, a chance to move beyond words and take action. Beyond grief, a call for action and accountability. Tessa's plea resonated far beyond Hollywood. Across the country, communities grappling with similar tragedies heard her call. They too had experienced the devastating impact of gun violence, the senseless loss of loved ones. Tessa's story became their story, her fight their fight. In cities large and small, people took to the streets, demanding action from their leaders. They organized rallies, started petitions, and contacted their elected officials. They refused to let Anthony's death and the countless others like it be in vain. Parents, tired of fearing for their children's safety, demanded safer schools and communities. Educators, heartbroken by the loss of students, called for resources to address the root causes of violence. Lawmakers, feeling the pressure, began to engage in long overdue conversations about gun control and mental health. The nation was at a crossroads. The time for thoughts and prayers was over. Tessa's tearful plea had ignited a spark, a collective demand for action. The path forward wouldn't be easy, but the pursuit of justice and peace had begun. United for change, from tragedy to transformation. Anthony Romero's tragic death, amplified by Tessa Farrell's courageous voice, became a turning point. It forced a nation to confront its demons, to acknowledge the deep wounds caused by gun violence. The path ahead would be long and arduous, but there was a glimmer of hope on the horizon. Communities, once resigned to the status quo, were now empowered to demand change. They organized voter registration drives, urging citizens to make their voices heard. They lobbied for stricter gun laws, demanding accountability from elected officials. They understood that change wouldn't happen overnight, but they were committed to the long haul. 
grassroots organizations working tirelessly for years to address gun violence saw an outpouring of support. They received an influx of donations, volunteers and media attention. Their message, once drowned out by apathy and inaction, was finally being heard. Anthony's legacy wouldn't be defined by his tragic death, but by the movement it ignited. His story, forever intertwined with Tessa's unwavering pursuit of justice, served as a reminder that even in the face of unimaginable loss, hope can emerge. The fight for a safer, more peaceful future had just begun.